Ah, yes, you. Famous bobber of liquor, on I've tap all day. How I look at things, how I live my life. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. I got a bar to run. Let me know if you want something. Just browsing for now. You know where to find me. Doctor? This better be an emergency. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I... I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here, go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Earl, you've, you've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. You made a mistake, but you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. Is it not the duty of the doctor or scientist to learn from their failures? 
You cannot deny the data. You're... You're right. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. I can fix... anything. You should wash your hands after that. What's going on? It can be unsanitary to handle the disease. Looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. Hey, Doc. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then he killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial reconstruction. So he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this... This is inhuman. You didn't know. It's not your fault. Of course it's not my fault. That moron and his damn appearance over practice mentality. Now two lives have been lost. It's disgraceful. I better report all this to security. Get out of here. It's going to take a long time to clean this place of biohazards. So, you find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Good luck with the case.